Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Uh, it's a nice Saturday morning. It's 10 o'clock, but I can already tell you it's going to be a hot one. Um, it's really starting to warm up out here. Um, I am actually on my way up to Walmart, get some grocery shopping done. Uh, update on the kitten. Took it to the vet yesterday, and uh, it is... Uh, humerus fracture so poor thing broke its arm um, really not much we could do for it it's a hard um, area to splint so uh, really what we have to do is keep him confined as possible it, it is a male kitten I said in uh, I posted on the thumbnail and I said in uh, my previous video that it was a female but I was mistaken it is a male cat uh, named him butterscotch um, the vet actually named him but anyway uh, he said that there's really not too much that you can do for breaking that area so we just got to keep him uh, as confined as possible obviously keep him inside for about the next month um, make sure he has plenty of food water uh, set up a little litter box in there for him um, so hopefully uh, the break can fuse and heal on its own um, gotta check once it is healed uh, how it healed if there's uh, obvious deformity to it um, he said to bring him in uh, gave him drops for his eyes uh, his one eye was um, kind of plugged shut a uh, little up, upper respiratory infection going on there, but he cleared it all out. He opened it up. The eye's perfectly normal underneath, so there's no problems with vision. Uh, I have to put those drops in three times a day. He gave him a dewormer and uh, sent us on, on our way. So um, I'm going to keep an eye on him. Obviously keep him inside, keep him as confined as possible, and hopefully uh, his arm will heal up as normal as possible but I'm on my way now up to Walmart get some grocery shopping done uh, I've got a gift card too I forgot about so I want to see how much I have left on that card and maybe get something for myself get a little treat alrighty You don't purr, but he purrs. Hmm. Hi, Butterscotch. Isn't he cute? Cute little guy. Hey guys, uh, walking around Walmart, it is amazing how crowded this store is today. It's a madhouse. It's raining outside again, so I'm using this, other than ruining my blinds here, I'm using this as the perfect opportunity to study the respiratory system. I don't know if you can get all that, but I'm going through one by one PowerPoint slides from last class. There we go. From PowerPoint slides from last class's lecture. Upper airway. Going through them all. I'm also putting together index cards here of the seven medications that I have to memorize that as an EMT I'm going to be able to administer. So you've got the activated charcoal and I got all the side effects, contraindications, doses and everything there. Albuterol, same thing, bronchodilation, 
aspirin, same thing, 160 to 325 milligrams, chewable tablets, epinephrine, 0 0.3 for adult, 0 0.15 for children, uh, naloxone or uh, Narcan, this is most commonly known, uh, 0.4 milligram auto injector, uh, nitro, nitroglycerin, um, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, SL is sublingually or under the tongue, um, three sprays every five minutes. Uh, oral glucose, um, half a tube to a tube uh, for hypoglycemia. Um, you got the, that's those are the medications, and I've got DCAP BTLS. Uh, when I'm doing spinal mobilization, remove supine patient over to the side. I'm going to check the back and what DCAP. BTLS stands for D, deformity, contusions, abrasions, punctures or penetrations, burns, tenderness, lacerations, or swelling. So I have to remember all that. Uh, then I've got a bunch of other things here in total CO2. The golden period is the time from injury to definitive care. Uh, conjunctive, conjunctiva, conjunctiva, I guess. Uh, crackles, um, crepitus. Those are just uh, what I've put together today. Most important thing though that I have to remember is these seven medications. Oxygen was also on there, but um, I pretty much got oxygen down. I got a little zebra here. Oh, sorry. No, oh, can't believe I just dropped the, dropped the phone. I got my little zebra here, keeping me company from... Uh, CSL, plasma donation, gave him a dollar, got a little zebra. So, yeah, that's what I'm working on for the rest of the day is uh, working on medications because I have to know them because we're going to be starting to be tested on them and watched that we know what we're doing with them on Tuesday. So, gotta get them done.